Civil society organizations are calling for government to delay analog TV signals until at least 95% of subsidized set-top boxes have been installed. The Department of Communications and Digital Technologies plans to switch off all analog TV signals in the country by the end of this month which is just in a few days' time. Rehad Desai, a member of the SOS Coalition, joining us now for more on this. Rehad, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. What, what, what are you concerned about? Why do you want this uh, switch uh, over from analog to digital to be further delayed? We are facing, Dan, uh, 2.5 million of our poorest households um, being without TV in three or four days. The, these are the households that have been left behind, haven't been communicated with. We don't have enough set-top boxes for them. Uh, the installation process is going very slow. And we think there are ways to... Um, uh, the, the spectrum which is available um, to TV uh, viewers, analog TV viewers, it's not urgent that we switch it off. The spectrum that is uh, a, that is being used, uh, the higher end of the spectrum, uh, that uh, is available for people, and that's what urgently needs to be utilised. Um, so uh, we, we need a proper plan, and, and we need the, the minister to listen and work with us in, to ensure that the constitutional rights of uh, 2 million plus households are, are not uh, adversely affected, where they have no right, you know, their rights to information, to education and, and entertainment, uh, which are enshrined in the, the Constitution through free-to-air TV, are, are not taken away from them. I saw a report of the minister responding or reacting to a statement by the SABC that uh, said it supports a delay of the switch off. The minister saying uh, she's not impressed, basically, and, and, and the delay, this call for a delay won't change anything. You see, what happened, uh, the, the reason why the SABC has had second thoughts and the ET, ETV, your sister channel, have been up in arms is because they know they've done very clear research and it's clear from the switchover that has taken place when SABC shut off their transmitters in four provinces that hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people were left without any uh, access to SABC. ETV picked up uh, uh, th those viewers, and that's how we discovered that um, there's a problem here. And that's how SABC discovered there's a big problem here. And that's the... What, so, uh, that's what we're, we're seeing now. Um, and the, we cannot afford for, you know, the, uh, our free-to-air broadcasters are reliant on advertising to be in a position where they are losing millions, uh, the potential of millions, in, and, and now the switch-off is for all provinces, and that includes the most populous provinces, to be without TV. That will mean they will lose millions uh, of, of, of audience numbers, and, and the only possible uh, option for people will be the subscription TV, pay TV, and we know who that is. That's DSTV and multi-choice. They will mop up those numbers because people need access to information for all sorts of things so they can conduct their lives and they know what's going on. They're informed citizens. Okay, so what will be the key things that you yourselves and the fellow civil society organizations who issued a statement earlier, I mean, calling for this delay as well? I think the numbers are growing in terms of how many civil society organizations uh, you are together with. What will be the main things then to be addressed? Let's say the delay is then it happens. What should happen? When will the country ever be ready uh, for that switch over? Well, ETV have done some very interesting studies on it. And they show how a number of the transmitters where you just convert the signals uh, will mean that, you know, people will have to tune in um, 
to different frequencies, uh, but it, below, below the 700 frequency can stay on uh, their analog sets uh, while we're waiting for the department to get the set-top boxes out to people. So what is urgent is that those set-top boxes are delivered, uh, are, are manufactured uh, and installed, and that we have the transmitters converted to ensure people's aerials uh, at home can receive uh, a signal still, and that would free up a, a tremendous amount of spectrum space. And we think that only, you know, uh, that can be done in a year. If there's a real will, and there seems to be a real will from this minister, she's, she's very alert and awake and knows what needs to be done and understands that all these delays that have, uh, have been brought about by government over the last 15 years are brought to an end. Uh, so we need to see a very proactive government. We need to see a very robust and assertive communication campaign uh, to the people of our country about what's going to happen and their need to apply for these set-top boxes. And we need Santec to do what they can with converting those transmitters, uh, their signal, uh, to ensure uh, that people aren't left behind. That's what we're saying. Leave no one behind. Um, and we're appealing for the minister to see the sense in this matter and not wait for the court judgment, which will come any day now. I mean, we know the cutoff is this Friday. Thank you very much, Rihad Desai, member of the SOS Coalition, explaining to us why a group of civil society organizations are calling for government to delay the switch off of TV signal from analog to digital until at least 95% of subsidized set-top boxes have been installed. The deadline, of course, for that uh, switch over is uh, the end of this week. So we'll see what's going to happen in the next few days. Thank